Welcome to Breaking Bread. I'm Monsignor Jamie, and today we have Joanne DiNapoli from the Sales Media, and she's going to prepare for us some homemade eggplant parmesan. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Monsignor Jamie, and welcome to a new episode of Breaking Bread. Today we have someone from the sales media, Joanne DiNapoli, and she's been with the sales for a number of years, and she also likes to cook. So, Joanne, how are Hi, you? Hi, good, Monsignor. How are you? Thank you. Thank welcome you. to Breaking Bread. Thank you. Happy so, before to be here. we get into your passion for cooking, and I think you're going to make a little eggplant today, right. a little eggplant parmesan, tell me uh, how you got involved in uh, the sales and what do you do there? Uh, I worked with the Dicey's with my other publication, and then uh, they came to me, and I thought it would be more rewarding to work on the uh, uh, work with the sales. So. And what do you do? You you sell ads? So? I sell ads for the tablet, for Net TV. So um, you know, hopefully my advertisers will be sponsoring the show. Now I hope I'm so. I it. hope you get a lot of sponsors. I hope so. That's great. And how long have you been there? I've been there for two years. How yeah. do you like working there? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love the people, especially the producer of the show here. Okay. <laughs> you know, but uh, it's very rewarding. I know? have to say, whenever I go there uh, to the office, it's like one big family. You know, you yes. walk in there, everyone knows everyone. You say, yeah. hello, my senior Jamie. You know, and everyone kind of works together. And it, it's great right. to see you know. uh, a place where everyone works together, gets along. So, yeah. you know, when you get up in the morning, you don't mind going to work. No, so it's, it's true. It's true. It's and, so important. And everybody helps everybody, you know. If we have an event, everybody gets together. You know, it's marketing department helps the sales department and the production department. So, and I mean, when we work together and we all have a good time, that's the that's the main thing. And it's so important to get the message of our church out yes. there, and that's what yes. the sales does. You know, between Net TV, the tablet, and, and everything else that they do, it's all about bringing the face of God, Christ, into the lives of people in Brooklyn and right. Queens, reporting on all the stories and all the things that are going on in the different parishes right. and in the diocese. And also very important to see, you know, where all the donations are going, that people are donating for the annual appeal and, you know, for futures and all the different organizations that people see that, you know, their donations are making a difference and passing on the faith to our children and all the good works that, it, that are being done. And the sales does a great job with that. We try to help. Um, you know, we just we just did Catholic School Night over yes. at uh, MCU Park. I saw that. Just to see, great, uh, just to see, like the, you know, the families coming together and and the park being filled and and seeing the valedictorians and the salutatorians getting their reward, you know, awards. It was just, it was really nice. And and it's just promote Catholic education and how important it is. Sure, sure, that's great. That's wonderful. I know Monsignor Harrington does a great job in organizing everything. He's always out there and he's always there to help. So, right. you know, I'm so, we are, the diocese are grateful to everyone at the sales for what you do. Oh, thank you. And also how you do it. That's so important. We try, and we keep on trying. That's great, that's great. And yeah. I know you have a love for your work, but you also have a love for cooking. Yeah, it helps. And, uh, so after, the, after the day at the <laughs> sales, it's always good to come home and start the cooking. It's good for the- So you know, uh, we're gonna take a break, but when we come back, uh, Joanne is gonna make some uh, eggplant parmesan. I'm so don't try. go away. Welcome back to Breaking Bread. And on today's episode, we have with us Joanne DiNapoli from our very own The Sales Media, and she's gonna be making some eggplant parmesan. So Joanne, what are yes. we doing here? Tell, first of all, tell me, where'd you get this recipe? From my grandmother. Where else do you get uh, recipes? But my, um, my grandmother taught me because before I got married, I made sure like, you know, write it down, get in the kitchen, because before that, when we were, all I could do was dry the dishes. And I said, Grandma, I'm getting married. I gotta know, like, what what am I cooking? You know. So she would say, but she would do it like this. You take this, and I say, how much is this? A little of this. A, a, a little. little of this. I don't little know. Of that. I don't know. I don't knew. There was no measuring cups, no teaspoons. Yeah. But so I kind of like learned from uh, watching her. I know they they're all the same. They never oh, take yeah. a little of this. I, I wonder if it was not that they really didn't measure, but 
I don't think they wanted anyone to really learn their recipe. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because, My, you know, everyone makes it all, like their meatballs, their sauce, it's all made a little different. Right. And I think they didn't want anyone to know their secret. Exactly. <laughs> my, my grandmother made bread, right? But she would make bread at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, so when she passed away, no one had the recipe because by the time you got up, it was already right, risen right, and right. all you get to do is like knead it, you know? But. And there was nothing like waking up in the early morning um, hours and, and smelling the smells mm. from the kitchen, especially on a Sunday morning. Oh, right. You know, with the sauce and the meatballs frying before you went to church. Yep. You would yep. smell that and you couldn't wait to get the And back. you couldn't eat. Well, I mean, I'm at before the days where, right? yeah, I, I would. Well, you're you a little eat. older than I am. Yeah, I well, thanks a lot <laughs> that, on TV, he has to say that. But, <laughs> but you're married, you have a family? Yes, I have one son, yeah. Wonderful. So this recipe you got from your grandmother. And yes. Then, so you make your own sauce. Right. And now, uh, what do you have? What are some of the ingredients you have here? The basic so ingredients. It's Basically, um, first of all, on the eggplant, always get an inny. You know, right. I try to get an inny. Try to get it as hard as that. Explain to the uh, uh, audience that an right. inny is that it's going in a little bit. It's right. not popping out. Right. And that determines how much we say, how many, how, how much how the seeds, seeds. Right. There's a lot of seeds in there. You don't want too many seeds in there. Exactly. Okay. Right. And I try to get it like as hard because right. if they're soft, you, then you get the brown spots and. Yeah. I don't know, they say that if it's like soft and that and it's a lot of seeds, it's not sweet. Right, exactly, it's a little bitter. That's what, even sometimes people sometimes leave the skin on. Yeah, do you? I don't, I like to take I this take mine it's a little off. bitter. Right. But I remember, you know, talking about the Innie and the Audi and when I was a kid going to the vegetable store and I used to look at all the older ladies <laughs> and they would be feeling the eggs. So what's going on here? They're all feeling the eggplant. <laughs> right. They, and then they touch and they put it back. Right, yeah. <laughs> But you, that's what they, they they had a passion and love for cooking. So you have your eggplant. So we peeled it, you know, and um, this one didn't. Well, it had some seeds, but what are you going to do? Right. Usually they have seeds like it towards now the how end. How thick do you do you? Size? I like it like this. I like it like a little thicker because I don't like when I fry it. I don't like it like mush. As my grandmother would say, mushada. Mushada. You want, you want right. it. You want it like a little, you know, texture. And I and when I do fry it. I make it like a little brown, so it's right. like, you know. Now, tell me, do you, uh, before you get into this, do you mm -hmm. uh, bread it or flour it? Yes, I, uh, okay. it's uh, two eggs. Two eggs? So two eggs, I put two eggs, I put uh, Parmesan cheese in it. I put a little milk because, like, just to, because it might be well, too wanna, thick. Why don't we yeah. prepare some of this? And yeah. Why don't you tell me and I'll uh, yeah. put it together for you. So you have two eggs? I'm telling you, you're a better cook <laughs> than I well, am. Well, every recipe is different. So this is your recipe, and uh, I always say, Every chef has their own recipe and their own way of doing things. True. So when people come into my kitchen, I say, do whatever you want. Really? I do. I have no problem with it. So you put a little Parmesan cheese. Right. Okay. This up here. Yeah. And then... You make it a little thick. Right. I right. make it, right, a little thick. Because you want it to stick to the And then the I put like plant. Italian um, seasoning. I, right. I use uh, this here. I throw a little in there. Italian seasoning. Okay. Yeah. Now sometimes people put a little water instead yeah, of milk. Yeah. You could do that. Yeah. It's less fattening. Right. Today, every, everyone is so health conscious. Oh. So you put this in. Okay. In fact, like my, my son will say, did you make it with egg whites or did you use the whole egg? And I'll say, I am use the whole egg. Well, I can't eat it, you know, because you have to do egg whites. Okay. You, you put a little oil in the pan? Yep. Let's mm -hmm. see. You have your egg. We're going to dip this right in. Right. right? And then... Um, now, do you use your fingers or do you use a fork? I use a fork. Okay. And then, you know, breadcrumbs, right? Okay, get the other dish and we'll, after it's, well, right. we can put it right into one, we'll do it this way. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, uh, and put another slice off. You can see I mm -hmm. use my fingers all the time. Now, since it is a little thick, you want to make sure it's cooked. Right. Mm -hmm. But then it's also going to be baked. Yeah, then you the bake oven. it, right. So, mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna brown it on both sides. Let's see. Okay. I always put a little bit of breadcrumbs in. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, to see if and it's. You can see, um, right? I think it needs a, a little idea. bit more. Right. You want to make sure the oil is hot. If the oil's right. not hot, it'll absorb all the grease right away. So what you want to do, you want to make sure the oil is hot enough, oh. so that when you put whatever you're frying, right, it forms right. a crust right away, and then the heat from the oil in the pan mm -hmm. will enter into the food. But if it's a low, you know, if it's not hot enough, all the oil it gets, absorbed. It gets absorbed and you don't want that. You want no. it crispy on the outside and right. cooked on the inside. So, so you that's know I learned one. something today. <laughs> okay, let's put this in here. Okay. 
So we would fry this. Mm -hmm. well, this is frying. So now basically, after this fries, you would then uh, layer it right. in the pan. What I do is, um, like if I have, I put paper towels. Right. I make, uh, you know, piles. So then the paper towels absorbs the uh, oil. Okay. So, and then when they're all done, then pat them up and then put them in the, uh, in the pan. That's to, great. Yeah, to bake. So uh, we have our eggplant here frying. Right. Mm -hmm. It's browning on both sides. Be now, careful. So you use some paper towel. Right, we okay. use some paper towels and you put the, uh, the eggplant on the, uh, when okay. they're done. Put it on the paper towel. So a nice golden brown. So now we have our eggplant right. here. Mm -hmm. We'll put this to the side over here. Right. Now what do you do? So then I, I get my, you know, I just pat them down. And I just put some sauce, the okay. homemade sauce. And now, uh, look how thick. I like a thick sauce. I, I do don't too. Like a, I do. Do you use paste in your sauce? Well, if it's not thick enough, like it depends on the, the tomatoes that I buy, um, then I'll, I'll put some paste. But if right. it's like this, like, right. you know, you don't want it. And also, the yeah. longer you cook it, the thicker it gets. I know, Because right? all the, the, the liquid and the water. And it's the turning, and right. don't forget to turn, because then you get all this stuff on the bottom. And you always have to make sure you don't uh, let it sit too long, because then if the bottom burns, if you yeah. get that burnt you get taste, that smell. it's finished. The no, sauce is I done. Know, Take I know. it and throw it away. I know. Okay, so now so we layer this. So then you just layer it. Okay. I'll put a thicker one on the bottom because mm -hmm. it gets hotter. And now then we'll uh, put the uh, mozzarella. The mozzarella. Yeah. Now, now you use any special mozzarella? No. Or? Have you tried like the like the homemade mozzarella? But do you find it find it becomes like watery? A well, little watery. A lot Is of times there a the trick to this? The homemade mozzarella has a lot more moisture in it. Right. It's also like when you go to have pizza. When you make pizza, mm -hmm. you put, you get mozzarella that's specially made for pizza. It has less moisture in it. Right. Uh, they do have the um, homemade mozzarella, the fresh mozzarella they put on their pizzas, right. but that's also made with less water oh. and, and less milk. So yeah. it is, it's, it's drier. So that's why I use like the stool boy, right. you know. And then I put, of course, pe the, Parmesan. the Parmesan. And then uh, just make layers with the uh, with the sauce, you know. Okay. I put Let's another layer. It. Okay. So since the sauce is so thick, mm -hmm. you can just spread it around. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And then layer it up again. I, I use my fingers. Huh? Yeah. I, I wash I, my hands. That's fine. I do too, but don't. I know in you a know? restaurant you have to use gloves, but most chefs just use their hands. Yeah. Make sure your hands are clean. No, sure. Okay. A little more sauce. And then I just put uh, the mozzarella and the parmesan and then I uh, I bake it like 350 for for like a half hour. Half you know, hour. and then see how the uh, And you can always taste it. it. Yeah, right. I mean, it all depends on how thick the eggplant is, how long right. you want to cook it. Mm -hmm. um, also with the sauce, some people like a lot of sauce covered with sauce. Mm -hmm. Some people like less sauce. And you know, when you go to a, res a restaurant, especially pizzerias, they cover the whole dish with sauce and mozzarella cheese. You, you don't even know what you're eating. It's it, like you know, a camouflage, right? right? I mean, <laughs> like you're eating a sauce and cheese. I, I mean, know. But, but we always put, you know, you want to see the main ingredient there, the eggplant. You want right. to see the chicken cutlet or whatever that they're mm -hmm. making, Parmesan. So we'll put a little bit more uh, cheese. Mm -hmm. And usually on the top layer, you'd put the Parmesan first. Yeah. And then you put the mozzarella on top. Now, do you use red pepper? Well, I always, I like I like a little spice in my Me food. Me too, but I didn't so, know. So I mean, so. Uh, you know, the, the the sauce has salt and pepper in it. Mm -hmm. uh, the the breadcrumbs has salt in it. Right. So I don't add any extra salt. Right. Right. And what I do is, and I, I like a little spice, so I put a little hot pepper. Put now, it on the top, right? And if I made yeah. my sauce, I would have put a little hot pepper. Oh, in there really? Too. Oh. And then I'll put a little bit on top. Spice of life, right? Now this dish is a staple for Italian food. Oh yeah. And what's great about this is that it's easy. I mean, you can make this ahead of time. Yeah. And you know, sometimes it tastes better, you know, like lasagna. Mm -hmm. It tastes better the second time you cook it. It does, it's true. It's <laughs> and I true. remember as a kid going to school, I was in grammar school and then we used to bring our own lunch. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a, 
uh, eggplant parmesan for dinner, the next day we would have it for lunch. Right. So my mother would put it, and sometimes you know, we didn't have the uh, Italian bread left over, she'd put on white bread. So it's she'd put it in the bag, in the brown paper bag. Right. And it came time to eat lunch, we opened up, a, and of course my bag was all full of oil. <laughs> you know, I was like the, you know, the, the grease ball, you yeah. know? Because <laughs> I went to St. Patrick's in Long Island City, and mostly Irish, so you know, I would come out with the meatball parmesan, the eggplant parmesan, but the, right. the brown bag was always filled with, with oil. And they said, yeah. what are you eating? Oh, look at that. Oh. But then when they tasted it, oh, this is good. You know, they were right. having peanut butter and jelly, and I would have a meatball, eggplant, you know, yep. chicken cutlery. But uh, eggplant, you can eat it cold, right? which mm -hmm. is good. I know I, I would get up in the middle of the night and I was hungry. Take when a when I was young, I can't do yeah. that anymore. And I go in there, just take a piece right. of it, right out of the refrigerator. But you know, certain foods, I don't know if you agree, mm -hmm. you have to eat with bread. Oh, you need Egg Italian plant bread. Is something you, you have Italian to eat with bread. bread. Yeah. You know, it's like That's having a sure. bagel without cream cheese. Yeah. You know, you have to have bread with certain you don't, foods. It doesn't fill you up. Exactly. But it, it just goes together. It's like almost like uh, chocolate and radish. Right. They, they you, go you know, it's so funny you talk about um, bringing lunch to school. So my grandmother used to make me lunch, right? And every day, but it was the same lunch, right? So it was like either, it was either or peppers and eggs or chicken cutlets, <laughs> right? So I would go with my brown bag, I'd go to Catherine McCauley. So oh, okay. back in the day, there was mo mostly uh, the Irish right. girls, right? right? So every day, how many times can you eat peppers and eggs? And right. how many times can you eat chicken cutlets? So I, I would sell it. Lunch was 99 cents. So I would sell it. And meanwhile, I was eating like the cardboard <laughs> pizza because, and, and my grandmother would say, how was lunch? And I'd say, oh, it was good, it was huh. good. In the meantime, you know, I, I would sell it to, you know, Kathy Sullivan for 99 cents. <laughs> you know, it's funny you mentioned Catherine McCauley uh, High School. It's now um, a high school for um, Crystal Ray. Right. And, right. Uh, you know, I, I helped in the very beginning get that started with Bob Cattell. It's, in fact, they just celebrated yeah, their 10th anniversary. Him, yeah. And it's a great program. And what it is, it's like a work study program mm -hmm. where it's a free tuition. Right. And the uh, students go to work once a week. Mm -hmm. And they get businesses to sponsor them. Yeah, we, and uh, to sales. The sales you have has, a couple have of, had yes. wonderful. And we have them at the foundation wonderful. as well. They, they work they one a day a week and it pays their tuition, but also gives them that experience of working in the workforce, mm -hmm. on the job training that you can uh, get in school. Right, and then when you go to the, um, when they have the uh, celebration and, and you see these, and, and the kids are there and they're welcoming you, and then you find out, well, I'm going to this college. Oh or yeah, I'm right, going. Yeah. And it's such a great, great it's such a great yeah. feeling to know that, you know, they worked for you and they, now you know, going on. they answer the phone and now they're going to like a well-established, they got a, they got a scholarship and, and they're, they're on their way. We're gonna take a break. Uh, we'll be right back to Breaking Bread. Welcome back to Breaking Bread and I cannot wait to taste uh, Joanne DiNapoli's homemade eggplant parmesan. So, we go. we're gonna put this in the oven first. Okay. And uh, open the, our oven up. This is cold, so I'll put this right in here. And with the magic of TV, it even grew like the loaves I and know, the fish. I know, right? <laughs> this is another like Italian Tupperware. Like. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, so now you made a larger eggplant here. Mm -hmm. and um, That's for the crow. Right, okay. So we'll cut it up. So what's good about this, it can go right on the plate. Yep or it can go right in the sandwich, the bread. Yeah. And of course, nothing like homemade Italian bread. That I can't do. Right? <laughs> and then we'll get a spatula, right? Mm -hmm. and, and the first piece is always hard to get out. I Even know. Even lasagna or anything, the first slice, the first piece, once you get that out. You right. did a great job on right. it. And see how it stays together? Yep. And, okay. So you can see all the layers there of the Cheese, mm -hmm. the eggplant, the sauce. Okay. Now the big test. I know. You go first. Go ahead. Let's I see. I want to know your honest opinion. Now you let this cook for about, you said about 30, 40 minutes? Yeah, about 30. Yeah, about and you can 30. always test it. And one way, I always look at the How bubbles. If the sauce starts to bubble, mm -hmm. that's always a sign that it's oh. cooked. Very good. Yeah. I have to say, the eggplant is so tender, it almost melts in your mouth. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's delicious. 
That is very good. Not bad. Very good. So you've had a lot of experience with this. Yes, <laughs> many. I'm married a long time, so a couple of eggplants have gone in the oven. Yeah. I'm sure your family enjoys your cooking. Um, sometimes, sometimes, uh, you know, I'll go on, uh, I'll go on the internet, you know, and what what to make, and you know, you get the recipes, and I'll try it. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so good, and I'll say, and I can tell by the faces, like they don't want to say, you know, but you can tell, like, let's I, not try this again. I want to ask you, do you, uh, how often does your family eat together? Not as often as I, as I like because everybody works different right. shifts. You know? Not like when we were growing up. Oh, no. Right. Like, uh, that's how I say, like, why my husband and I are married as many years we are because he worked nights, I worked days. How many years? Was, many years? Many years. Many years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's say. Let's, let's say it's over 25. I knew older than I it's am. over 25. It's not yet 50. Let's let's put it that okay. way. Okay. But um, yeah, so that's the secret of a happy marriage. Like right. work night, somebody works one shift and somebody works yeah. the other. Yeah. But you know what's good about having a meal together with the family is that these recipes that you cook that are passed on from your grandmother, your mother, you mm -hmm. know, uh, parents and grandparents, we pass them on to the children. Right. You know, and mm -hmm. if they like it, they're gonna want to know how to make it. And, you know, it, it's so important that we keep these traditions oh, alive. Oh, it's true. Thank you so much for being oh, on the show. thank you for having me. And tell me what, what is your favorite thing about working at the sales? Uh, just the people. The, the people you The work atmosphere with. Is, is so much, it's, uh, it's so much more. You know, I get, I get something out of it, you know, spiritually as well as. Like a family, you know, right? Yeah, like a family. For and a they, common cause. Exactly. To bring and, and the message of the gospel into our diocese. Right, and just so if I put in, like if somebody has a, an affair, you know, a church, and they say, oh, we got so many people because we put uh, an ad in the tablet and they came. Right. And it was a success. Uh, it makes me feel good because it's, it's a good, you know, it's a good cause. Well, I want to I wanna thank you and the staff and everyone for always promoting Monsignor Jamie's causes. Oh, and there's a lot of causes. <laughs> you're always involved. God bless. You're always doing, you know, you're always helping me, someone. Monsignor, you're in the tablet every week. I said, I know, but I'm at every event. You're at you the, know, it's and, true. And, you know, we got to get the message of the gospel out there. Right. Uh, and not only in the media, not only, on, you know, on television and in the newspaper, the tablet, but also we have to be out there. Right. And I'm at, I try to go to every event You're to bring there. the message, to bring the need for futures and the needs mm -hmm. of the diocese out to the people. So I'm at every event, and you know, of course, when you're at an event and you see the priest, right away they take the picture, you know. Right, right, right. so then you, yeah. there you are in the tablet again. <laughs> but thank, I want to thank you for all you do for us and for the diocese, and thank you for being on the show. Thank you so much for having so, me. So thank you, Joanne. And before we end, maybe we can say a little prayer, okay? Yes. In the name of the Father, amen. the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings that you give to us. We thank you for the blessings of our parents and grandparents and all the traditions and the faith and the recipes that they brought into our lives. We ask you, Lord, in a very special way today to bless all that the sales media does, all the workers, the employees, and all that they do to help get the message of the gospel out to the, our diocese and let people know that Christ is alive in Brooklyn and Queens. We ask you, Lord, to bless all the work that they do and all the work that we do as a church in Brooklyn and Queens. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching Breaking Bread. Make sure you tune in the next time on Net TV. Amen.